Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby. I share fashion, lifestyle, handbag review videos, overview of handbags, and all that good stuff here on my channel. So if that's stuff you're interested in, I would love for you to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below, and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video each single week. So today I have a gorgeous color combo. It is my absolute favorite color combo with the monogram canvas from Louis Vuitton. This is the uh, newer version because it had an older version actually as well. Uh, but this is the newer version of the Louis Vuitton Estrella. It is in the monogram canvas with the gorgeous black leather. And without further ado, let's go ahead and check this bag out. All right guys, so like I said, today we are reviewing the Louis Vuitton new version of the Estrella handbag. This is gorgeous. I absolutely just adore the color combo that this bag has. I love the contrast with the monogram canvas and the black leather. I think it is just so timeless and absolutely beautiful. So I uh, just wanted to give you guys an overview of this bag and some of my thoughts um, on it as well. So um, if you stay tuned until the end of the video, I'll go ahead and do uh, the what's in my bag and kind of show you guys an overview of packing the bag um, and some of the things that I've used it for or put in it and um, for size wise and how I would carry it. So like I said, that'll be at the end of the video, but without further ado, let's just jump in. All right guys, so this bag features the gorgeous, gorgeous double zipper. I love the big chunky zippers. They're so, so pretty. This is um, the gold hardware throughout the bag. The gold zipper with the black is gorgeous. I absolutely love um, the black leather with gold zippers. I think it is just so, so timeless and stunning. Um, it pops so much. So um, if you check out the bag, on one side it will have the heat stamp. Uh, the Louis Vuitton Paris on this one, it says Louis Vuitton Paris um, that is on the front of the bag. And then, if you go ahead and open it up, there is the second heat stamp that is going to be on the interior as well, right there. And then in the pocket, you will have your date code. So this bag, before we get inside of it, um, I just want to talk about the outside a little bit. So it has this gorgeous uh, gold hardware, like I said, and the D-rings on both sides. Um, this bag um, does come with, if you buy it, if you would have bought it from Louis Vuitton, it did originally come with a uh, crossbody strap. Um, but some on the secondhand market now, actually, they might be missing a strap or need a replacement, which I know a lot of people have asked um, where I get my straps or where I'd find a replacement strap um, if it didn't have one. Um, and honestly, I would recommend either if you have a cobbler around that you can talk to them about making you a match for something. Or you can actually talk to Louis Vuitton. They do have a lot of replacement straps um, if you wanted that to go with it. Um, but if you're just looking for a generic strap, honestly, what I do is I keep an eye out at other places, maybe a secondhand store sometimes, or um, you know, TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods. If they have a really good quality leather purse, sometimes they mark them down. Um, they have nice straps. I do really enjoy uh, keeping an eye out for those because they, a lot of times they work really, really well. So that's what I do for, as far as the straps go. Um, this bag features the double handle on that top, and I absolutely love when bags have the double option for carry. So uh, personally, what I do, even if these straps are long enough for over the shoulder, what I tend to do is I always go to the crook of my arm for these straps. I love it. It's super easy to carry or uh, to have a crossbody option. So that is super, super great. Um, this bag, this actually, this one is... A, it's a real leather strap, but it was not the Louis Vuitton one. I did have to have a replacement for this one, so that is what I did. I used uh, one of the straps I've had for some time, and then it does, like I said, have the double handle on the top, so that's really, really great. Um, I did want to point out a couple other things on the outside with you guys uh, real quick. So this bag, if you're looking on the pre-loved market especially, uh, make sure you check out the piping, the corners. You know the typical wear and tear where it tends to show. On this bag, it is gorgeous. They look really, really good. The monogram canvas follows throughout the bottom of the bag. Has a little bit of that detail. It's so pretty, guys. It, pictures just don't do these justice. Um, little feet on the bottom. And the shape of the bag is a little different uh, than a standard tote. If you can tell, it kind of points out a little bit at the top, this side. So this kind of brings me to the, one of the points that I have for you guys today. Um, as far as a review on this bag, um, I have carried it. I really liked it. I thought it was super comfortable. The amount of space is perfect. All right, so the one thing I did want to point out to you guys that I did find a little bit interesting when carrying this bag. Um, when I first used it, I filled it up with some of my things and really took up some space. I uh, 
ended up putting some notebooks in and some things I don't normally carry, which was really, really good on the bag and it worked well. However, I did notice that if you empty the bag and don't have it completely full, let me show you what you run into a little bit here that you potentially can run into, um, is when you pull it up and it's not completely full, then these side corners, if you're not careful, can fold in a little bit. And that just concerns me with, um, for my stuff, if I'm, you, you know, not using too much and I don't want it to damage the bag with where it folds. So I do, if I wasn't going to be carrying too much stuff, I would be doing the RM carry, um, just to try to avoid that folding because of, uh, the shape of the bag. If it's not full, um, probably to about here, I would say, uh, it depends on where the weight pulls down on it. So I would just say, be cautious of that. Uh, be aware of where it folds, uh, with how much stuff you have in it and kind of go from there. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the inside of this and check it out. All right, guys, here's the inside of the bag. So it has this gorgeous suede lining in the black. There's a heat stamp I was telling you guys about. Okay. So these pockets are some of the best pockets I've used in a long time. They are just exactly the perfect size. This one has a good amount of space, but still uh, small enough to where it's going to be tight enough to keep some items in there. And then on the other side, you have this giant pouch and this was great. I love tossing my wallet in here, uh, my gum keys and stuff. So I didn't lose them in the bag. And then all the room on the bottom, I was able to put my, all my other stuff. I'll show you guys in just a minute how I used it, but it was just such a great amount of space. There's a lock and key that comes with it as well. Uh, this one was kept in here. So it'd be nice and nice and clean and ready to go. But that is the inside of the bag. It's got a little fuzzy. Sorry. Uh, but that's the inside of the bag. It's super, super pretty. And we'll go ahead and check out the what's in my bag now.